I'm Tamara Wrigley and you're watching iStyle TV. Spring summer has landed and on the show today we are showcasing several designers who are about to launch their 2014 collection. Which label are you about to love? Let's go hit the runway and find out. It's really nice for um, all the labels to be coming in today and, and seeing each other and seeing the models and it's really exciting. So uh, yeah, we have a fair trade and organic kind of philosophy, so um, we are part of the sustainable fashion movement. So I love the men's pieces, I think that's an exciting sort of direction for us. They're so basic, yet they're so comfortable, even the models backstage are sort of, um, yeah, really excited about popping Lounging them on. around. And <laughs> yeah, I said, you know, you can't fall asleep halfway down the catwalk because <laughs> they're so comfy. Also our women's robe and our women's wrap are really lovely as well and we only source ethical, organic, fair trade certified cotton. So we find that that's probably um, uh, pretty important in the fashion industry. Well, opera is definitely about the woman who wants to get dressed up and look fantastic in a swimsuit. A lot of sexy glitz uh, items. It's like the perfect items when you want to go and hop on a boat or just go in a resort or go on a nice fancy holiday. At Elizabeth de Vargas, we're a couture bridal boutique. We specialise in made-to-measure innovative designs. They're very unique, very specialised. The basis for our inspiration comes from the fabrics. We look far and wide for the most amazing different laces, uh, different silks and the highest quality fabrics that we can find. Uh, a silk satin with a, an array of beautiful sequins over the top, it will just sparkle. And we've got a stunning finale gown that is just the most amazing lace you will ever see and the most amazing handkerchief hem. We really specialise in trying to make our brides feel like the most amazing princess on their day. Um, so Subvert is really um, all about incorporating art into fashion. We use really unique silhouettes and we try and keep our fabric choices really distinctive and if you see someone walking down the street you'll be able to say, oh that's a, that's a Subvert piece. I found a particular fabric that I absolutely loved. Everything came together just around that specific fabric. Yeah. Um, it's something that we really focus on, um, keeping things neutral. The colours that we see come through for spring summer are very, very seasonal yeah. and we're very much about having key pieces that will last a very long time in your wardrobe. Yeah. My brand is very, like it talks about women which are independent, at the same time it's very happy, bright, very soothing to eyes. I belong to India so I wanted to reflect the essence of India in my clothes. It's a, a lot of colours, nice subtle embroideries. clothes shouldn't wear you, you should wear the clothes. So I try and very much make sure that whatever I buy and anything that I wear suits me rather than necessarily following any trends. Anything which makes you like comfortable in your own skin, I think that makes you just, it's just the attitude which comes with it. Yeah. First of all, be comfortable. Um, wear clothes that suit you and that fit you properly. That's most important. Keep it simple, a good shoe, beautiful accessories. Salita Matthews, she's got the most delightful accessories. Um, see her online. Uh, lots of colour, which I know isn't rocket science, but I'm loving, I you know, just wore a beautiful silk caftan the other day, and lots of colour, blingy gorgeous sandals, great fingernails, you know, make sure we've got our manicures done. Keep it simple, keep it crisp. Uh, shorts, loafers, collared shirts, sleeves rolled up, I think that's going to be in this season. So I'm here with Sky from Australian Fashion Blogger. Sky, what's our spring summer collection going to look like this year? Oh, we're staying with pastel blues this year and scuba blues. We're also looking at a few mint greens. So yeah, nice and springy this season. 
So I know it gets a bit frantic in Fashion Week. What's one of the things you can't live without? Well, definitely water, I think, is probably the best. I just guzzled about two litres just then. Coffee. <laughs> probably say a red lipstick <laughs> and honestly it's my needle and thread I had to go home and cry who's your biggest fashion inspiration I would have to say Victoria Beckham um, because she has lots of tailored outfits and she's got a real a really unique sense of style Kate Moss <laughs> This is a bit of an interesting one. My biggest fashion inspiration is actually my mum. My mum's 69, but she looks so amazing. She goes to the hairdressers twice a week for a blow dry, always been diligent in skincare, beautiful skin. She's got a really good sense of style, my mum. So if I can look like her at her age, she's the one I want to look towards. There's so many to choose from. Audrey Hepburn, I think really for me, and Coco Chanel, that's where fashion began. First thing would be, um, great underwear because I think an outfit always starts at the very bare basics. I love Honey Burdette, I love Pleasure State, I love to feel good from the very beginning of dressing. Um, I have some beautiful um, jewellery, Canterbury, Tiffany, things like that so I want to get a few pieces from there. Um, a great pair of shoes, just a great signature pair of black heels, that's a given, every lady needs those. Great black dress, wardrobe can't be without one. And probably just a beautiful, luxurious um, pair of pyjamas. Stylish sunglasses, a nice watch, a polo Ralph Lauren, white shorts and loafers. Complete lace. We love our lace at the moment and long hippie style. Uh, I think there's probably going to be more prints than ever before, that's for sure. And you know, I'm really loving like um, the sport luxe look and also the high, you know, the bohemian look as well. Flash it, flash it. <laughs> During our fittings and um, oh, oh. <laughs> um, very tailored. Oh, <laughs> she knocked it. <laughs>